Today, I want to pray for you for deliverance from demons or unclean spirits. A lot of people message me all the time telling me how they are bound by demons, how they have demonic issues, and some of the stories are very incredible, and I know that these people need to be set free. They become aware of it, and today I want to pray for you. Most of my prayers for deliverance, they've been uh, in person, but not everybody can get to me or find somebody that does deliverance, but I believe this prayer and you might have to listen to it several times, but this prayer, if you have demons, this should cause something to stir within you where you are aware that there is indeed a demonic spirit or multiple demonic spirits in you. Now, this is going to be important that we prepare ourselves first. So before I get into the actual prayers, I want to make sure we have a heart that is right before God. So first we need to ask for God's forgiveness, not only for us, but we need to grant forgiveness to those that have done us wrong. So right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you, God, to forgive me of my sins cleanse me if there is any way that is in me that is not pleasing in your sight please cleanse me now show me what that area and issue is and may i be set free from that in jesus name but i release myself into your hands that you might mold me and that you might perfect me in your holy spirit that you might transform me that you might make me more like you but if there's any area in my life that is sinful, oh God, forgive me of these sins, cleanse me, I confess them to you now, please wash me by your sweet blood. Your word declares that if any man sin, he has an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. So we come to the advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous, and ask you to speak in our defense. Now, I not only ask forgiveness for myself, but God, I grant forgiveness to anybody who has wronged me. I release them from my bitterness. I release them, whether it's my family, whether it's a friend, a coworker, a, a classmate, whoever it might be, maybe it's a neighbor, but God, I release them from my bitterness and I forgive them just as you forgave me. Amen. Now, I hope you prayed that. Now, the next thing is let's renounce certain things. And what a renunciation does is basically you are turning your back on things that can cause demonization. One of the major areas in which uh, demonic spirits can gain access to you is through the occult and witchcraft and things of that nature, anything that is dark or of the dark world. So let's start by renouncing the occult. And this means perhaps you've done a Ouija board before, perhaps you've gone to a tarot card reader, perhaps you have uh, read books that were of the occult, whatever it might be, it's time we renounce them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce all ties to the occult. Every occult object I've ever had, I will get rid of it immediately. Forgive me for ever possessing anything that was of the occult or the dark demonic realm. I ask for forgiveness and I turn my back completely on those things. I renounce the occult. I renounce it in the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce every single thing that is of the demonic world that I've openly got involved in. Even things that I've done in ignorance when I did not know. God, forgive me. Forgive me for going to tarot card readers or for reading occult books and materials or being fascinated by the occult or psychics or witches or witchcraft I renounce it now and I say I am the servant of the most high God and Jesus is my Lord now now in the name of Jesus Christ pull me back into your presence now in Jesus name now that is one of the major areas in which people get bound um, immediately and that is through the occult so if you pray that prayer, you are free to receive deliverance. I believe now if there are other areas that have surfaced in your life that you might think that you need to uh, 
basically have come under the blood of Jesus, where you need to expose those things or you need to come clean before God. Do that at this moment in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you for deliverance. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, upon the authority of the word of God and the power of the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every demonic spirit that is in these people's lives. You demon spirits, you are exposed now. I command that you do not have a hiding place, that every hiding place would be destroyed and that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ would shine and expose your darkness now in the name of Jesus Christ. For the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So I light up every pathway in which the demonic spirits and the serpents of the evil one are hiding. Every path be cleared now by the word of God. The word is a sword, a sword of the spirit, and it cuts off the heads of every demonic snake. Now I command that every fang and talon that is in these people that is binding their mind, that they would be loose from that now. I command that spirits associated with fear, spirits of fear or anything related to it, phobias, that they would be gone now from the people. They have renounced and they have come clean. They have been forgiven. Now you must go. Spirits of anxiety, leave from the people now. Anxiety, you come out. Come out of the mind now. Come out of the body. Physical ailments, sickness, spirits of infirmity, go now. I command that you have no more right or access for Jesus rose with all power and authority and I command you to go in the name of that Jesus leave now in the name of Jesus Christ come out you cannot hold on any longer you must loosen them in Jesus name I loosen you in the name of Jesus Christ I loosen you people to receive your freedom now no more anxieties no more fears I cancel every demonic assignment that has come to bring fear and torment. The Bible declares that fear brings torment. So we loosen you from the fear. Now I loosen you from those fears in the name of Jesus as a minister of the gospel and a believer in the Lord who is commissioned to cast out demons based on Mark 16. I command you demons to flee from these people. Come out of the mind. Come out of the will. Come out of the emotions. Come out of the body. Come out now. Come out now in Jesus name. Spirit of lust. We bind you in Jesus name. I bind you. I bind you. I cancel your assignment. You can no longer come to them. I close every demonic doorway in Jesus name. Doorways for lust. Door doorways for any immorality. We cancel those assignments and we close the doors and seal them by the blood of Jesus. You are set free now from that in Jesus name. In Jesus' name, receive your deliverance now. In Jesus' name, I loosen you. I loosen you. I loosen you now in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Spirits of alcoholism, spirits of drug addiction, come out now in Jesus' name. All spirits of addiction, even addiction to immoral things, addiction to pornography. We break those ties and the demonic strongholds there. There are strongholds that many people have and we command the strongholds to fall now. The strongholds are built upon a sandy foundation and I command the waters of God, the rivers of life to flow and destroy the foundation of every demonic stronghold now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I loosen you people in Jesus name. I loosen you based upon the Lord Jesus Christ. I loosen you. I loosen you from these things. Every demonic stronghold that's been built up in your life come crashing down now in Jesus name spirits of witchcraft that are harassing the people that are coming against their mind that are coming against their body you demonic spirits leave Jezebel spirits leave occult spirits leave in the name of Jesus every spirit associated with witchcraft that comes under that umbrella go now in the name of Jesus I command that you are destroyed that you have to Go now, go into the pit, get out of the people. 
loose them. I loosen them and let them be free now in Jesus' name. You are free from that in Jesus' name. Every witch that has been casting spells, may the spell come utterly crashing down now. I command that those demonic spirits that are associated with witchcraft have no more access to these people. Every spell that has been placed upon them, I cancel the effect of the curse. I lift it from them in Jesus' name. No witchcraft shall attack you any longer. It is canceled. It is null and void. And I render every curse impotent now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus covers you. The blood of Jesus covers you. I command according to the word of God. God is a wall of fire. According to Zechariah 2 and 5, he is a wall of fire around us. I command that every demonic line of communication would be burnt up by that fire in Jesus' name. Our God is a consuming fire. Now burn God, burn within the people and burn away everything that is attached to the demonic now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, spirits of sleeplessness that causes you to be wide awake at night when you know you need to sleep. I cancel those assignments now. I cancel them in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that these people shall rest. For as it is written, he giveth his beloved sleep. So rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirits of tiredness and exhaustion that cause you to always want to sleep. I also cancel those things. Let the people have awake an alertness. May they be strong in the name of Jesus. You spirits come out. Exhaustion, come out. Where you're tired all the time. No, come out in Jesus' name. You have to go now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come out. All of you spirits, come out. You evil spirits, come out. Come out now. You have to go. I adjure you in the name of Jesus Christ, whom I serve. Come out now. You cannot hold on to them any longer. That is not your home. Their body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Now go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. That's not your home. Go out now. I command that you cannot use forms of trickery, that you cannot try and trick the people you have to go now you have to go you are exposed you are exposed by the light of the glorious gospel of Christ you are exposed you demons now leave leave come on out now in Jesus name come out now come out now come out now yes out now get out get out come on come on out of the mind Come out of the will, the emotions, the body. Come out now. Come out now. You have no more right. You have no more access. I command that you cannot return. Never return again. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out now in Jesus' name. Come out. Yes, loosen your hold. Come on out. Take every dart, every tool, every demonic tool out in Jesus' name. Go as you go. Take it all out. All the effects and damages done be reversed now. I command wholeness and completeness in these people, in their mind, will, emotion, and body. I command they shall be stable. They shall not lose their mind. Every demon that's in the mind, come out now. Every demon that's messing with the emotions, spirits of anger, spirits of rage, go now. You cannot stay any longer. Go now. You have to leave now. Go into the fiery pit. Go now. Go now. Out. Out of the people. Out now in Jesus' name. Out now. Out now. Out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And every spirit that's in the body. Spirits of infirmity and sickness. Depression. Get out now. You have no more right. You have no say in this matter. You must go. You've been crushed by the cross of Jesus Christ. And you must must go. He crushed you. Go. He made an open specta spectacle of you. Now go now. Out. Completely out. Completely out. I command that no demon can stay. You have to go. Set them free. I set them free in Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Now, if you do not have the Holy Spirit, I'm going to pray that you would receive the Holy Spirit now so that you're clean. Hallelujah. And again, you might have to listen to this several times, but keep listening to it. You'll get free. You'll get a whole lot of freedom come your way. Come on now. Hallelujah. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for these people 
that have received a deliverance today, that those demons are gone. And now we want the Holy Spirit to fill up every area that the demons previously inhabited. May they be complete in you. May they be sanctified by you. Fill them up in Jesus' name. Completely up. Completely up. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. It's a gift. Receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God bless you.